I know.
morning. Welcome to worship at Well of Hope. So as you can see, Pastor Julie is not here today. She is at Rainbow Trail with her family. Um, so we have a few different people leading worship today. Um, Pastor Dave will be presiding and I will be preaching the sermon. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what's going on today. Um, a couple other announcements. Uh, so Children's Church kicks off next week during worship. Um, so children will be invited to listen to the children's message and then participate in a short activity. Uh, so they will um, then return to their families in time for sharing of the peace. Um, and so that's coming up next week. And the theme for Children's Church for the month of September is what is the church? And we will be focusing specifically next week on how the church is the people. So all children are welcome. Uh, and Christina has an announcement on behalf of Carol, so I'm going to invite her up. So um, since Carol's gone, I'm going to do the outreach announcement, which um, we fi had the final total of the ELCA Good Gifts Water Projects that was um, donated to up through last Sunday. And um, final total, very exciting, $1,312.82. So thanks to everybody who participated in that. And then um, these two, first two weeks of September, we're gathering extra school supplies for local kids, um, including kids whose parents get assistance at the Help and Hope Center. Um, through their client services. So we're gonna, next Sunday we're going to assemble bags of supplies um, during the God's Work Our Hands Sunday, which is next Sunday the 11th. And um, we've been also given a $250 Th Thrivent grant um, to help buy those too, but we can use anything extra you can bring would be great. Um, the more the better. Um, so thanks if you've already brought supplies in, and if you want to pick up a few things this week, there's a list um, right on the end of the table over there, um, and it's also on the, um, uh, that came out in the newsletter this past week. There's a list on there too. So thank you. done this before a microphone <laughs> the king supers instructions how to get your card attached to the well of hope community cares program is there and i shopped at king supers this week and there it is uh, about the donation that they give it's going to well of hope and every quarter we get a check from them so um, encourage your friends your relatives your neighbors to sign up to support Well of Hope. And if you have any questions, you can ask me or call me or um, because if you call King Supers, it'll be a challenge. Okay. <laughs> Are there any other announcements? All right, let us quiet our hearts and minds and begin with our call to worship. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, Father, 
Son and Holy Spirit, one God, who is eager to know each of us and to love each of us. Amen. Let us confess our sins in the presence of God and of one another. Together, we're going to admit our failures. Our failures to live and to love as Christ lived and loved. God of mercy and forgiveness, we confess that sin has a hold on us we have harmed your good creation. We have failed to do justice, love kindness, and walk humbly with you. Turn us in a new direction. Show us the path that leads to life. Be our refuge and strength on the journey. Through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer and friend, amen. Beloved in God, it's my privilege to say to you that your sins are forgiven and you and I are made whole. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ and by Christ's authority, I declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We invite you to rise in body or spirit to join singing our gathering hymn, Spirit Open My Heart. Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Please be seated.
let us pray. Direct us, O Lord God, in all our doings with your continual help, that in all our works, begun, continued, and ended in you, we may glorify your holy name. And finally, by your mercy, bring us to steadfast, everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. All right, so today I want to play a game. It's called Would You Rather. So you get to make some choices about which one you would like better. Would you rather play on the swings or the slide? What do you like better? You like the slide better? Uh -huh. uh, would you rather build a snowman or build a sandcastle? Which one do you like better? I like to play in the you like to play in the snow. I like to play just on oh, him or mom. Oh, you like to do play snowball fights? Mm -hmm. That would be fun. Would you rather have a pet dinosaur or a pet unicorn? Um, uh, I want a pet dog. You want a pet dog? Yeah. That one, that one would be a little less scary huh, than a dinosaur. Um, one yeah. Would you rather eat chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? Uh, chocolate. You <laughs> like chocolate ice cream. Uh -huh. Yum. I like to drink chocolate milk. You like to drink chocolate milk. Uh -huh. Yummy. In the Bible story that we're about to hear, God is giving God's people a choice. He's telling them, you can love God, and you can love people, or not. Which one do you think is a better choice, to love or not love? I need to love my mommy. Yeah, to love like you love your mommy, absolutely. God's people knew that was the right choice, too, to love God and to love their families and their friends and even people they maybe didn't know yet, but they didn't do it all the time. Sometimes they forgot to love God. Sometimes they were mean to each other. Does that ever happen to you? No. No. It happens to me sometimes. Sometimes even with people like my mom that I love a lot, sometimes I'm mean to them. And I don't make those good choices. And sometimes we don't make the right choice either, just like God's people didn't. But God never stops loving us. Right? He ne God never stops loving us. God never stops giving us second chances to keep loving like he does. Isn't that good news? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's say a prayer. Can you fold your hands? Dear God, Dear God help, us help us to love you, to love you and, to love and to love others. Thank you, Thank you for giving us second chances, for giving us second chances. and always loving us always loving us even when we make mistakes even when we make mistakes amen amen thanks for coming up with me A reading from Deuteronomy. See, I have set before you today life and prosperity, death and adversity. If you obey the commandments of the Lord, your God, that I am commanding you today by loving the Lord, your God, walking in his ways and observing his commandments, decrees and ordinances, then you shall live and become numerous. And the Lord, your God, will bless you in the land that you are entering to possess. But if your heart turns away and you do not hear, but are led astray to bow down to other gods and serve them, I declare to you today that you shall perish. You shall not live long in the land that you are crossing the Jordan to enter and possess. 
I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Choose life so that you and your descendants may live, loving the Lord your God, obeying him and holding fast to him. For that means life to you and length of days, so that you may live in the land that the Lord swore to give to your ancestors, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Please rise. traveling with him and he turned and said to them whoever comes to me and does not hate father and mother wife and children brothers and sisters and yes even life itself cannot be my disciple whoever does not carry the cross and follow me cannot be my disciple for which of you intending to build a tower does not first sit down and estimate the cost to see whether he has enough to complete it Otherwise, when he has laid a foundation and is not able to finish, all who see it will begin to ridicule him, saying, This fellow began to build and was not this this fellow began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king, going out to wage war against another king, will not sit down first and consider whether he is able with ten thousand to oppose the one who comes against him, with twenty thousand? If he cannot, then while the other is still far away, he sends a delegation and asks for the terms of peace. So therefore, none of you can become my disciple if you do not give up all your possessions. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. You may be seated. Grace, mercy, and peace be with you in the name of the risen Savior, the Christ. Last Saturday, Well of Hope participated at Douglas County Pride Fest with other churches in and around Castle Rock. We had a table set up with a banner that said Castle Rock Area and Ch Inclusive Churches Welcome You, and we engaged with people who stopped by our table. Uh, we told them about how all the churches represented at the table are open and affirming, and we handed out colorful bracelets like the one I'm wearing that say love one another. We also had a large sheet of paper where people could write down things that they want the church to know, and a public apology for the ways that the church has hurt the LGBTQ plus community. If you're in the room, you can actually get a glimpse of what we did at Pride Fest by checking out our display that we have over here by the door. The organization that hosts Douglas County Pride Fest is Castle Rock Pride, and their mission is to build positive networks of support and inclusion, promote equality, and foster acceptance of diversity. The purpose of Pride Fest is to celebrate these things and create a safe, fun, non-judgmental environment. It is an event in this community that is really special and it's fun to be a part of. By helping out at the Inclusive Churches table, I had the opportunity to connect with so many people in the larger community of Castle Rock and in Douglas County, and a lot of them thanked us for being there. I, along with the other volunteers, heard and read many comments from people about how the presence of Inclusive Churches at Pride Fest gave them hope. It gave them hope that the ch church can truly live into its call to love one another fully and authentically, without any preconditions or exceptions. We are so used to hearing and reading about Jesus tell us to love one another, and we spread that message here in church at Well of Hope and when we show up in the community, like at Pride Fest and other events. So if you're confused by our gospel text today, you're not alone. What could Jesus mean when he says that anyone who does not hate their family members and even life itself cannot be his disciple? This text seems so contradictory to Jesus' other teachings about love and compassion. 
If we look at other versions of this text, like in the book of Matthew, we see that Jesus does not use such strong language. In Matthew's version, Jesus says those who love their family members more than him are not worthy of him. So why in Luke's version does Jesus use the word hate? While the Jesus in our gospel text today seems out of character to the Jesus that we know, this is in fact the same Jesus. We just need to approach this text from a different lens. In Jewish traditions, hate is often used in teachings to emphasize value. Here, it appears that Jesus uses the word hate not to encourage intense hostility towards family members and even life, but to teach that nothing in this life should become more valuable than God. Jesus challenges his listeners to embrace true discipleship which prioritizes very different things than what we are taught to place value on in this life. In our gospel text today, Jesus is teaching about how following him requires that we let go of what the world tells us is honorable and right. He calls us into discipleship, which is challenging and uncomfortable. And you might be wondering why it has to be this way. In his life and ministry, Jesus makes known to his disciples that following him will never be easy. It means challenging all the things in the world that aren't truly life-giving. Following Jesus means standing up for those who are poor and oppressed and marginalized in our world. It means challenging all the systems that keep people from living fully and authentically as children of God, who are inherently worthy of love and respect. Jesus teaches us that going against the grain, that challenging the status quo is far from easy. But we have the responsibility as followers of Christ to carry the cross, to do the hard work of challenging the dominant narrative for the sake of life for all people. Being at Pride Fest this last week reminded me of why I love being a part of the community of Well of Hope so much. We are a community made up of beautifully diverse and unique people, and we go out to events like Douglas County Pride Fest to share and celebrate that and to invite others into this community. Our society has such a narrow view of what relationship with others should look like. It teaches us that we should be in relationship with people who look and act like us, and that is such an exclusive understanding of what it means to be in a family and to be in a community. Jesus calls us to live compassionately, engaging in acts of love and justice toward our neighbors, to live into our call to be an inclusive church of Castle Rock, inviting and loving people just the way that they are. At the inclusive church's table at Pride Fest, we displayed a public apology because we know that the institution of the church has and continues to hurt the LGBTQ plus community. And it does this based on narrow and exclusive ideas about what it means to love one another. We thought it was important to let people know that we do not align with churches who continue to exclude people because of their gender or sexual orientation. We value everyone's gender identity, sexual orientation, race, culture, and even religious affiliation. We wanted to tell people that we challenge the dominant understanding of welcome and acceptance. In a society that values exclusion, we value equality, love, and justice, even when it comes at the cost of being ridiculed and criticized. Carrying the cross is a daily struggle, and we will be faced with the temptation to lay it down. But Jesus tells us to keep going, committing to live compassionately and sharing the mercy and justice of God. Even though it's challenging, it's worth it. Thanks be to God. Amen. We invite you to rise and join in singing our song of the day, Lord Jesus, you shall be my song on my journey. We'll be singing verses 1, 3, and 4. Lord Jesus, you shall be my song.
Continue with the prayers of the people. Let us pray for the church, those in need, and all of God's creation. Holy God, we pray for the church around the world. Refresh the hearts of your people, deepen our understanding of the good things we share, and strengthen our partnerships in the faith. Be with our bishops, Elizabeth and Jim, and with our ministry partners in Castle Rock. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Creator God, we pray for the well-being of the earth. Help us better understand our connection to creation. Strengthen the wild church movement and inspire us to care more deeply for the natural world. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Mighty God, we pray for the nations and those in authority, for the elected leaders of our towns, states, and country, and for international organizations. Grant wisdom to those who govern and raise up citizens who make decisions in the best interest of their neighbors. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Compassionate God, we pray for all in need, for those who suffer from disease those who struggle with homelessness or food insecurity, for those whose family life is difficult, and for all in this community who need your care. We pray especially for Sister Carol, Adam, Betty, Carol, Kirsten, Kennedy, Jean, Sandy, Rod, Taven, Sam, John and Lillian, Terry, Doris, and those we now name aloud or in our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Faithful God, we pray for this community of faith. Guide the work of our executive and property teams as we plan for our future. Open the path to our next property and help us make wise and faithful decisions. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Eternal God, we give thanks for the saints who now rest from their labors. Give us faith, like them, to love you with all our hearts, and by your mercy, bring us to everlasting life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. Into your hands, gracious God, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Gracious God, in your great love, you richly provide for our needs. Make of these gifts we've given a banquet of blessing and make us ready to share with all in need through Jesus Christ who sets a table for all. Amen. Please stand as you're able. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Holy, mighty, and merciful Lord, heaven and earth are full of your glory. In great love you sent to us Jesus, your Son, who reached out to heal the sick and the suffering, who preached good news to the poor, and who on the cross opened his arms to all. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and he gave thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. And then again after supper, he took the cup and he gave thanks and he gave it for all to drink saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood gave it for all to drink. He says, uh, this, my blood, is given for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering, therefore, his death, resurrection, and ascension, we await his coming in glory. Pour out upon us the spirit of your love, O Lord, and unite the wills of all who share this heavenly food 
the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory now and forever. Amen. Amen. And those of you watching online, those elements before you that you have prepared, they are the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated. I want you to know that uh, here at Well of Hope, communion is open to all. You don't have to be a Lutheran. You don't have to be a member of this church. You don't have to be a certain age. You don't have to be confirmed. You're all welcome. All we ask is that you have a desire to be closer to the Lord, to know that your sins are forgiven. One time I went on vacation to a church and uh, the pastor was standing at the entry area and he recognized me as a visitor and he said, are you a member of our denomination? And I said, no. And he said, um, <clears throat> well, um, I'm, I'm sorry to, um, oh, we aren't having communion today. In other words, if we were having communion, I would not be included. You are invited. This is not our supper. This is the supper of Christ. And he invites all of us to come and eat and drink. And know that you are loved, forgiven, and made whole.
body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you. You are forever in God's grace. Amen. 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 Abundant God, you have refreshed our hearts in this meal with bread for the journey. Give us your grace on the road that we might serve our neighbors with joy. For the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord, let us love God, serve God. Love, love all, serve all. all. Go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honor all people. Love and serve the Lord, abiding in the comfort of the Holy Spirit and the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit rest upon you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Amen. We Sending him, bring forth the kingdom. <laughs> Thanks be to God.